this is Alina and today we are talking about permanent and semi-permanent makeup. So last week I had my brows and my lips done. And this is because I'm very fair skinned, I literally have no brows and the goal of my experiment was to create a natural end result that will allow me to uh, have a framed face in the morning uh, to look like I have a face without makeup and not to spend 30 minutes every morning trying to even out my brows. If you're like me and you would like to consider permanent makeup or semi-permanent make makeup for that matter, then you need to listen and to watch this video to understand what to expect if you would like to try it as well. I'd like to make sure that you know exactly what to expect from this procedure. So this is why I am actually without any makeup right now. And if you can see, my brows right now look like they are peeling a little bit. This is because there is a healing process involved. Microblading or powder technique that I had done on my face, um, they are a lot like a tattoo. In a way, it's a shock to your skin and for about three to seven days, you need to be very careful with your face. You can't have it wet, you can't work out and sweat, you need to properly take care of your brows or whatever you have done in order for this result to last. Now it may sound invasive and painful, but in reality it's not no more than a touch. However, because it's permanent or semi-permanent and it is done on your face, you have to be very, very careful and diligent when selecting your specialist and selecting the look you want to have. First and foremost, I would like to say that semi-permanent and permanent makeup solutions are best suited for natural looks. In other words, your end result should look like a day makeup. Simply because you cannot wipe it off, you cannot tone it down. However, you can add more makeup, more lipstick, more eye pencil if you want to go out and have a night look. Another lesson I learned very quickly is that you have to research salons and uh, permanent makeup experts to make sure you make the right choice. So I did a lot of research and I picked a specialist who is brand new to Atlanta but is very experienced and has a great portfolio on Instagram and Facebook. Natasha Chabrava is a permanent makeup expert with a lot of years of experience and she has just moved from St. Petersburg, Russia. I personally do not know of any permanent makeup specialists in Atlanta that do that technique, but if you know of any, please leave a comment below. As soon as I walked into Natasha's studio, she walked me through the procedure of sterilizing tools and how she uses disposable pieces of the tools. And this is something that I believe is extremely important. This may be a question of life and death, and definitely a question of your health. So please, please make sure you are aware of how your salon and your specialist work with their tools. If you walk into a salon and you do not see how they sanitize the parts of the instruments that actually need sanitizing, the ones that are not disposable, please ask these questions. It's your salons, your experts' responsibility to make sure that everything is done properly, but unfortunately, it's not always the case. What you have to understand is that you absolutely must expect disposable tools, but the disposable part of the tool is usually just the tip of this 
pan that is used to do microblading or powder and the rest of this pan actually needs to be additionally sanitized and sanitized very well a lot of people i know a lot of women i know they don't ask this question sometimes when they go to salons even to nail salons because they don't feel comfortable but trust me this is the question of your health so please ask the questions without hesitation I was really happy with how Natasha approached the discussion about the color that I'd like to have the shape of the brow and I'd like to say that I did my brows first and then I went back two days later and then did my lips and I think it was a great decision because I didn't realize the drastic difference that I will have to face in the mirror every day at the beginning and at the beginning the color of the brows was very very bright it's not going to stay like this as you can see they are now healing and peeling off and the end result will look way more natural than the original result you see right after the procedure. Asha did everything by hand. She measured my brows, she looked at the pictures of my favorite makeup looks to understand what shape I prefer. And I do recommend that you bring pictures with yourself to actually give your expert an idea of what, what you really want as opposed to what you think you want. And also she was very precise with outlining the shape and getting it to the perfect point where we both agreed uh, that this is what we both think is great. If you come to a microblading specialist who offers you templates, run. Everybody's face is unique. Everybody's angles are unique. Um, the distance between your eyes, it's unique with everyone and it's just impossible to use templates for a really great looking result. Everybody's sensitivity to pain is also different. If you know that you're very sensitive and you don't have high pain tolerance, then you will definitely need anesthesia. And it's something local, it's something that gets put on your brows for 10 minutes, just like any cream. And after that, you literally don't feel anything at all. Um, that helped me very much but some people may be allergic to anesthesia so if you think you may be allergic or you know that you are allergic you really have to consider that and discuss that with your microblading specialist the unexpected part of uh, the process was after the procedure I didn't realize that during the healing time you are not supposed to uh, have a sauna for example or to work out uh, like doing the cardio where, where you sweat a lot because you're not supposed to have any moisture on these areas uh, while you're healing and I think that I'm pretty ready to go back to not having to drink everything through a straw <laughs> you can see me right before the procedure and then the last picture shows how i looked right after the brows and uh the lips done and my skin sort of come down after the peeling so yes this is a huge difference and i'm definitely excited to see the final final result Another idea that sounds appealing to me is that we are going into spring and summer season and being able to go to the beach or to a swimming pool uh, and swim and not worry about reapplying the makeup or smudging the makeup. That sounds pretty good. If you would like to opt in for permanent or semi-permanent makeup, all I have to say is that there are many reasons why you should consider it um, but no matter what your reasons are please make sure that you research the experts you pick the best ones you make sure that you have it done safely 
and enjoy the results.